Hi. So every evening now I'm doing a little bit more on the Jeep. But I just have to share this. I replaced the spark plugs and spark plug wires. And I'm learning this as I go because I haven't done it before. So now to figure out what to do on the other side. Alright, so it's only six hours later and I've got six of the eight uh, spark plug wires installed but I think by now I've got figured out exactly how to push these things in. Now this is where I really don't know what I'm doing so I could be completely wrong. I'm crimping it with a plier. I don't have a crimping tool big enough to fit this. So I'm shaping it with the pliers so it's almost around putting it in as they indicate in the instruction. Putting it in the area that I seem to get the best crimp, best grip on. And then Closing it in on one side, closing it in on the other side. Then the gap in the plier seems to be just the right size to close that in and then the top. And then I push it in. The wires are not rooted correctly. I'll do that in the morning and this is a cold start, no choke it had a bit of a miss beforehand this is now after replacing the spark plugs and wire and it just sounds so much better Not burning clean, so I think it's still rich, but just listen to that. Anyways, he's all excited, he's all excited, but Anyways, I'm glad I left Cape Town when I did. It seems uh, I missed, I thought I was there in the wet and I missed most of it. I've just got this video and photos from uh, Henny and Krista. Uh, they saw my, the video I did, the previous video I did with uh, showing the true to the fear at Van Rijnsdorp. Now, I've seen a lot of videos about Cape Town, but even in Van Rijnsdorp there's a lot of uh, water flowing. Hoping everybody is dry tonight in the Cape area, and uh, <clears throat> I'll be seeing what I can do about the lights. I want to see if I can install these new lights. I want to do that before I do the radiator because these lights are a lot thinner, shorter, thinner than the old ones, and the old ones are pushing the radiator skew right up against it 
So if I replace the light so I can get the radiator better aligned and if I do that I can uh, install the new fan. But uh, first I'm just going to sit and think about it and take and disassemble. I think I'll put that on the next video. So see you on the next one. Cheers.